Hello, it's Akanksha, and today we will come to know something about Akamma Cheryan as a Christian contributor in nation building. On 14th February 1909, Tommen Cheryan and Anamma Karipapa Rambil welcomed their second daughter. They named her Akamma Cheryan a name that would later be etched in the history of the Indian freedom struggle. Born in an ancient Christian family in Kanjarapalli, Travancore, Akamma grew up and completed her BA in history from St. Teresa's College in Ernakulam. It was in February 1938 that Akamma joined the Travancore State Congress. But within a few months, on 26th August 1938, C.P. Ramaswamy Iyer, the Diwan of Travancore, banned the state congress after the people pressed for a responsible government. This led to a civil disobedience movement, during which congress leaders were arrested and jailed. Despite the hurdles, congress continued to function under new presidentship, but one after another, each new president was put behind the bars. The 11th Travancore State Congress President nominated Akamma to replace him before his arrest. Under her leadership, Congress sent word and united the youth from every locality in Kerala. The plan was to disrupt the Maharaja's birthday celebrations and raise their voice against his dictatorial rule. So, on October 23, 1938, Travancore witnessed a protest with immense resistance and hurdles. Akamma Cheryan boldly stood her ground. When the chief of police, Colonel Watson, tried to order his men to shoot the protesters, her valiant words compelled him to withdraw. And finally, as a result of the massive protest, the government gave in and lifted the ban on the state congress. They also agreed to release the arrested party leaders. News of her bravery spread across the country and she was nicknamed Jhansi Rani of Travancore. After that momentous win, she organized a female volunteer corps called Desa Sevika Sangh. She travelled extensively with a mission to encourage women volunteers to join the local Congress bodies as members. Later then, she was put behind the bars for her support of the Indian National Congress Quit India Resolution. In 1951, Akamma married fellow freedom fighter V.V. Varki Manampalakkal a Travancore Cochin Legislative Assembly member. Soon, she gave birth to a son, George V. Varki. Following independence, Cheryan served in the Travancore Legislative Assembly. She died in 1982 and is memorialized with a statue and a park in Trivandrum, Kerala. I hope that today's presentation must have inspired you that we should give our support for a country so that the country can develop, then you make your country great by your qualities and good deeds. Then we'll meet you with a new Christian freedom fighter. Till then, goodbye.